Well, let's talk about structs in C++. First of all, if you are used to classes in other languages, you will probably have seen classes sometimes used to store data objects, related objects into, or related fields into an object. And structs in C++ are similar to that. We still have classes, but structs can be used this way. So what I do is I first create a struct, and so I'm going to do a struct for an account. So for a bank account. And so inside of this, maybe I will need a couple of things. I might need a, a and sign in for an account number. And maybe I need a, a name. So I'll do a string for a owner. And maybe I'll throw in maybe a character for the type. And these can be unrelated types, but they're all related to this object. So type. All right. So down in my program, when I'm actually using it, I can create this, well, a struct, and then I can use it. So I'm going to first start out by creating a copy of the struct. And so I'll do account. And maybe I'll call it a CCT for account. So I'll make one of those. I can also create pointers to it. So I'll do AC account and I'll call this one my account PTR just so you can keep them straight. And I can assign the pointer easily to the object just like anything else. So PTR equals the address of account. And you can do the same thing with a dynamically allocated or using new and delete. So now I have two different ways to reference this account. So first I want to go ahead and set up or set values. And the way I do that is I use a dot notation. So account or ACCT dot, and I can say the account number is one, two, three, four, five. Um, the owner, is going to be Alice. Oops, need an equal sign here. And the account type is maybe a C for checking. All right, so I got the value is set, and you can see that all these things are set just using the dot notation, and that's how you use it. If it, if it's a an actual object you have direct control over, you just use dotted notation. If it's a pointer, it's a little different. But we'll look at that in just a moment. So now I want to display the values. So I'll do a C out statement. And uh, I'll just print out the information here. And make that line copied a few times. And I'm going to display a CCT dot count number. And I'm going to display the owner. And I'm going to display the account type. All right, now I'll go ahead and run it so you can see how this looks. So I run this. And you can see it should print out the number, the name, and the type. At this point, I want to show you how to do it with the pointer. So I will copy this code right here. Display values with point, pointer. And there's two different ways to do this. You can either use the arrow notation, or you can use a different notation. Use the dot notation as well, but then you have to dereference it. So if you don't dereference it, you can use the arrow notation, and that will work. So the account pointer. If you use the arrow notation, then it will assume that you mean to go into the object that the pointer is pointing to and then look at it. 
If, however, you use the dot notation, so with pointer and arrow notation, and this is with pointer and dot notation. The way you do a dot notation is you have to dereference it first. So right now you can see that it has an error. It doesn't like this. So I say, okay, fine. I'm going to dereference it. Now the interesting thing is that because it's dereferenced, it still is assuming you're trying to dereference this, which doesn't actually work. So you have to use parentheses to indicate what you're dereferencing. So you're, or what you're ad addressing. So you dereference the whole thing first and then use the dot notation. So that is how you can use it with this um, dereferenced pointers. So go ahead and run these, and you should be able to see three different ways of displaying the data. So I've got the number, the name, the account, number name type, number name type, three times. So Hopefully that helps you get an idea of how to address and work with structs and structs using a pointer.